They're in the gate. And they're off. And a very level break. Over on the far side, whistle down away alertly, and so too is Lotus Rose. And Lotus Rose now clears away as lead of a couple of lengths. Just Star will give chase in second. Whistle down is in third. Down the centre of the course is Jungle Bee. Racing alongside our boy Will, and up against the rail is Vince Lombardi. Next is Latin Lover. Down the wide outside, Fast Response. Amazonian Dream only has one beat at halfway. That's Manatino as they race on now down towards the final quarter mile. Lotus Rose tackled by Jazz Star. Down the wide outside is Fast Response, who's now beginning to put in a power pack finish as they race on towards the final furlong and a half, and it is the filly, Fast Response, who goes on. Against the rail, it's Whistledown who's picking up. Down the wide outside, Amazonian Dream is now picking up late, deep inside the final furlong. Whistledown over on the far side, steals a lead of just over a length to Amazonian Dream, trying to close in second, but it's Whistledown trying to cling on as they hit the line. Whistledown jinked! Whistle down Jink right on the line, but I think may have just got the head bob over Amazonian Dream in a dramatic finish to the nursery. Well, it's officially a photo. And first things first, Rose Dawes has done really well to maintain the partnership off the line because Whistledown really did, Fran, jink right on the line just as Amazonian Dream was getting to her, but the partnership remained intact. And from the angle we saw at the line, it looked as though she's just hung on, but we'll see. Appeared like she just hung on, Tom, but it was a bit dramatic in the last couple of strides. That slow-mo cam is going to be interesting if we've got access to it because, uh, as you can see, Rose Dawes is just gone out of side door almost. It's quite a funny angle as well. You're sort of behind the horses, so it's you're not right side on to really know uh, quite the photo finish. She's done really well to 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 get back upright because um, I mean I did think that she was right out the side door there, but um, that doesn't seem to be the case. But I, I don't want to commit, given the angle that we are at, to, to who has won. The Amazonian dream, Amy, absolutely flew home when in the clear. Yeah, he came home really well. You could see Lotus Rose late on was a horse that hung left-handed, interfered. You could see there with Just Star and Amazonian dream was a horse on the wide outside here that just started to rattle home really strongly down the outside. and. I don't know who's held, I'm not going to try and call it, but it, it looks here like Whistle Down had it home and hosed. Amazonian Dream flew home down the outside. Fran Horse, you talked about fast just, but I think, I think Whistle Down must have got it, but again, can't totally commit to it. Fast response was a horse that you talked about. Um, looked a tricky ride late on, I thought. Here is the results of here the photo go. finish for first place, first number two, Amazonian Dream. Amazonian Dream has won. Oh. Second, number 10. Third Amazonian nine, Dream has, has scored. The photo is going to be really interesting to see. Wouldn't be Sandown without. Wouldn't be. That, that, wouldn't be Sandown without it being tight in a photo, that, would it? That jink just happened a stride or two before line on number ten uh, whistled down. That changed results, Tom. It's, it's, it's Costa. I think so. Because when, I mean, I have no idea what it's like when the horse underneath you jinks that close to the line, but it, it, it just seemed to stop, Amy, her, her forward momentum. It was literally, it looked as though when Whistledown literally saw the, with the winning pose, that's when she just ducked left and a fantastic sit by Rose Dawes to keep that partnership intact. But yeah, I agree, you know, that jink to the left, you've just lost that little bit of ground. I think that's probably made the winning difference. Now, I, I, we're calling it a jink and it did look to, to be that, but I wouldn't mind seeing the head on if we can, because so much loose ground that's come up before the line. It looked more of a slip behind, like the rear footing went, yeah. but I just couldn't see it if it had ducked from anything on the inside. But it's just come to a standstill. We've had our own Devon Lock here today, Tom. Here we go. You see it a bit better. Because when you're talking about a jink, you're talking about sideways movement, right? Yes. So, uh, but it, but that, as you say, look a, a bit more like hind legs, just, just ever so slightly going from underneath there. Exactly. It's like you when you're running, if, it, if you're grip went, not that you run anymore, but... Uh, I was going to say, neither do I, so I can't comment on <laughs> that. It's when you lose your footing and she's just slid forward and uh, it's gone from plenty of momentum to no momentum and almost stopping dead and uh, it's definitely had a bearing on the result and changes. Amy, the amount of people coming over to look at our screen confused because from that angle, and look, it is a deceptive angle, you would never have suggested it's gone that way. I think 33 to 1 in the photo as well was, was Amazonian Dream, but he he has got there. Look, we'll, we'll touch on him. He's officially the winner. He's getting a, a warm reception back into the winner's enclosure as well. And he, you know, he, he did absolutely rattle home when in the clear, a, a, you know, a similar sort of performance 
performance than Newbury last time. Yeah, came home really strongly down the outside, kept out, kept out of way of the trouble of, I think, the Hanging Lotus Road, who just interfered with a couple, but came up the wide outside. You can see here, take it back from the start. Still waiting for the uh, photo. Do we will show it to you the moment we get it because it will be very interesting. Sorry, Amy, go on. Yeah, I was just going to say the winner was uh, not the quickest away. Um, I think Oshin just sort of had to give him a, a bit of a niggle just to get into that stride and get him travelling. You can see the second was always towards the four on the rail. Travelling away well, and fa the one nearest in shot was uh, in, a, in a Nick Bradley called his fast response. Keep an eye on her, Tom, the way she travelled into the race. I think with hindsight, she probably made her ground a bit too soon, but she had to work hard to get into it. Uh, once she got a backhander with her right hand, she's gone left into the middle of the track, and that's somewhat it lost her momentum. There she goes now, and what probably wasn't a help to the eventual winner, just carrying him slightly off his intended line. And for all the said and done about unlucky, the horse on the rail is with that slip, which we see later. On. The winners had to work hard to get there. Yeah, well, we're going to have a look at the print very shortly when they hit the line. 34 grand done at the minimum on the second whistle down after the photo. I'm not surprised and that just happened at a crucial stage. Oh, my word, it's, it is a flared nostril, isn't it? Um, and when it's that, that winning distance, Amy, it, it, as Fran was suggesting, just that that loss of full momentum at the, the most crucial stage of the race has probably cost it. Yeah, absolutely. The winner was always in the clear and coming home really strongly. Full momentum and, like you said, the second horse whistled down. I don't know. We don't know yet whether she jinked or lost a, lost a foot in, but that slight loss of momentum has cost her the race. Yeah, well, Fran, you, we can have a, a closer look at the closing stages from the head-on, so you know, talk us through it if you can. Yeah, Whistledown uh, she showed a bit more speed than she had done her last couple of starts. Got a lovely run through the rail, Rose Dawes, stick in her right hand, across the pathway here, gets her organised, and everything's going fine now. She's keeping up her rhythm, one smack there, in her rhythm, keeping, keeping her going. She is running straight for her, and it's just the last three strides before line. Now, just keep watching there. That's, and that's it. And it's like the sod went from under. It's like, like the ground actually shifted. It looked actually like an a, a off hind. Just, she slightly just lost it, just coming yeah. towards the line. Yeah, just, I, out, just out to the right of her. She's try, she's tried to, the filly's tried to sort of you know, pick herself back up and it's just caused that slight jink. It's nothing of her own making, I'd say. I'd say it was just attracting either she just took a wrong step, false step, or but, hit but it. But it's not enough for them to have to go out and, and look at it and look at the, the ground. It's not like it's false ground or anything like that. It's just as unfortunate as you can get near the line. No, I mean, I, I don't think I can say it was anything to do with that. I think it's just unfortunate that just coming towards the line, she's just slightly lost that, that off hind and it's just caused her to, to lose a balance. So just anyone just, watching, I'm back left, I'm, I'm saying there, that off hind, and it does it, it does go quite a way out from underneath her. I did think she half sort of... I did think she shied slightly from the winning post, which has maybe then caused her to uh -huh. lose her back end. Uh, we'll get a good view here, Fran, of, of the run of Amazonian Dream as well. As Sheen Murphy, he's angling left as much as he can the whole way, isn't he, to avoid trouble? He is. He's had uh, to work ways around the field and he's getting going now against Hill. Keep an eye just on fast response as she drifts out in front of Oshin. He's just got to work to get around him going to the pathway here. That doesn't help the eventual winner's chances. There's a slight loss of momentum, but once he gets by fast response, Amazonian Dream finds plenty for pressure. But this is, if we can get an angle here, Tom, just on what happened of the eventual second. Second, just getting to the line now. We just lose it there, don't we? There, yeah. Look, I, to be honest, because having seen, having seen um, that you, it's not a jink. For, for, you know, you can't call it anything that she's done. I don't think. I, I feel as though it won't be the last we've heard of it. Personally, I think you know, uh, that, when it's such fine margins we're dealing with, um, but it. For you, it's not it's not the Phillies' fault. Is that, that that's where we're at, right? I, my first impression, the more we look at it, I think it's a track issue rather than herself. The, her ears don't really move at any point. Uh, once once she does lose her momentum, wasn't it? She pricked her ears, spooked from something. She's in full flow there. It's just like she lost her hind footing behind a loose piece piece of turf, possibly, or just misstepped. But um, to be fair to her, I wouldn't hold it against her. I don't think it's yeah. her, her overall making. So uh, when, a, when a horse does jink or shy from something, you, Amy, you, you would see something you know, ears-wise or head-wise to, to indicate that, that she is reacting to something. Yeah, and I mean, these are babies, aren't they? They haven't had much racing, and I think she just literally pricked her ears. I think she's just slightly seen the winning post, just shied slightly, and that's just caused her to lose her back end slightly. Mm. Well, look, it's... It's it's uh, it's tough stuff for Rose Dawes, I'm afraid. It's the... 
the smallest of margins, I'm afraid. And uh, well, there we are. Drama on the sprint course at Sandown.